you know, as people know, the, we have the Durham trial here in, ta- in Washington, D.C. also. Uh, so it's not Johnny Depp, Amber Heard all the time. We also have uh, John Dur- Durham and uh, the, the Sussman, uh, Sussman, who is the former Clinton attorney, who um, is purported, allegedly lied um, when, he went, when he said to the Department of Justice that he was not representing the Clinton campaign when he presented them with uh, campaign dirt that the Clinton campaign dug up and pushed to, uh, certainly to the media, according to testimony, was the, the big news in this campaign that came out that's been lost is that the campaign chairman, campaign manager, Robbie Moak, of the 2016 Hillary Clinton campaign, admitted under oath that um, that the that the specific uh, dirt that Sussman is accused of uh, lying about when, when he presented to the FBI um, was in fact uh, uh, acknowledged and um, and Hillary Clinton herself urged him to take you know, urged to a group of high high ranking officials in the campaign to pitch it to the uh, to the media to try to get it into the media to harm to harm to the uh, to President Trump's campaign. Now, there's nothing unusual about a campaign pushing uh, pushing negative opposition research against their opponents into the media. That's normal. What is interesting is that this information, which the Clinton campaign knew they generated and should have known and probably did know was false, undoubtedly knew was false. Um, if you push that to the media, it's the media's job to figure out if it's true or not. And, and so consequently, that's, a, that's kind of the norm. But if you push it to the, to the Justice Department and you know it's false, and then you lie to the Justice Department about it, that's a, that's cr- that's a crime. So where we're getting to is uh, whether or not Sussman uh, gave this to the Justice Department of his own accord, or did anybody tell him to give it to the Justice Department? And at this juncture, um, the claim is that he gave it to the Justice Department of his own accord. Um, the argument is whether or not he lied when he was, said he was doing it for the Clinton campaign, or not for the Clinton campaign. Um, the jury will decide that. But to me, the interesting part is whether or not he sat there and he actually, um, whether or not the Clinton campaign itself um, urged him to do this. And for them to not have, here's what, here's what would have to happen. An attorney, one of their attorneys, would have had to have said, Gee, I think there's a. I, I really think the FBI needs to get this. The Department of Justice needs to get this information. I happen to have the personal phone number and text message uh, to text the head of the appropriate division at the Department of Justice, a guy named James Baker, um, and he's a friend of mine. So I'm going to text my buddy over there and let him know that I'm going to come over and give him something, give him a thumb drive. It's totally unrelated to any campaign activity, however any other clients. I'm just doing this because it's something I came across and I thought they should know about it. And on the other side of it, the uh, baker would have to say, you know, I understand, I, I get it that this is, uh, even though I know my buddy works for the Clinton campaign, and you know, I the fact that he's bringing me this information, I have to just believe that he's doing, he's not lying to me, um, and totally dis- suspend all actual thinking processes related to who, who Sussman was, who his clients were, and the like, and, and go ahead and then uh, launch an entire investigation on the Trump campaign based upon allegations that have now been con- were now confirmed by somebody who worked for the Clinton campaign but claimed that it wasn't do- he wasn't doing business by the Clinton campaign. Well, that's what, that's what James Baker's story is. That's what the Justice Department is saying. Uh, Sussman's under trial for lying that he was saying he wasn't working for the Clinton campaign when he was operating on their behest. And that's the statement of fact that uh, the jury will decide was, was he, was he actually working at the behest of the, of the Clinton campaign? And if not, uh, then he didn't lie. And so the perjury charge will be, uh, he'll, 
uh, Durham will lose the case on the perjury charge. So that's your that's kind of what's going on. I, but we don't get much information on this. I know Johnny Depp is on the pre, omnipresent, but actually the Durham trial is kind of important. So I figured you all want to know. And with that, I'm going to just sign off. It's a short one today, but thank you very much for uh, uh, paying attention and uh, keep the faith. <laughs>